congratulations on your new addition to the family. Here are a few guidelines to make sure all goes well. Development at two months. By two months, you should notice your baby is smiling, cooing, and holding his or her head up when lying on their tummy. To help your baby's brain development, talk, sing, and read to him every day. Self-care. The bond between you and your baby is very special. Taking care of yourself is important for your ability to bond with and take care of your baby. Getting rest is hard when you have a new baby. Try to sleep when the baby sleeps and let family or friends help you. Postpartum depression. Many mothers feel tired or overwhelmed the first few weeks at home, but those feelings should get better. If you find that you are feeling down or sad a lot of the time, or that you are frequently having worries that you can't take care of the baby, please let us know so we can work with you to get help. Family planning. Deciding when you're going to have a baby and deciding how much time you will have in between pregnancies is important for your own health and your family's health. It's important to discuss future family planning and birth control with your partner and follow up with your women's health provider for your postpartum checkup if you haven't already. Siblings, if you have other children, try to spend some one-on-one -on -one time with your children so they feel included. While your baby is very young, it is sometimes easier for another family member to have some special time with the other children since mom is so busy with the baby. Going back to work. If you are going back to work, start to make arrangements for daycare. If you are breastfeeding or want to speak to a lactation consultant about how to store your breast milk so you can continue to nurse once you start work, let us know and we can help. Sleep position. The safest place for the baby to sleep is in a crib or bassinet in your room, but not in your bed. Your baby should sleep on her back to reduce the chance of SIDS, Sudden Infant Death Syndrome. When your baby is awake, you should give your baby some time on her stomach several times a day. This helps with arm and neck strength and reduces the chances of getting a flat head in the back. Car seats. Car seats are important when you have a baby in the car. It should be facing backward in the back seat of the car. Make sure the baby is always fully strapped in while in the carrier. And remember, never leave the baby alone in the car. Secondhand smoke and vaping. We do not want your baby exposed to smoke from cigarettes or cigars or other types of smoking or vaping. Smoking around your baby can increase the risk of sudden infant death syndrome, lung infections, and ear infections. No one should smoke in your home or car. If someone in the family does smoke, talk to us about ways we might be able to help. No shaking. Never hit or shake a baby. Parents of a newborn are often tired and stressed, especially if the baby is crying. If you're feeling frustrated, put the baby in the crib and leave the room for a few minutes to get a drink of water or take a deep breath. Once you feel calm again, you can go back to taking care of the baby. Remember, if you're feeling frustrated, it is always better to put the baby down in the crib and see if someone else at home can take care of the baby for a while. Feeding at two to six months. Breastfeeding is the best nutrition for your baby. It can help prevent infections, helps with brain development, and can reduce the risk of obesity later in life. Although breast milk is best, if you are formula feeding, remember to mix one scoop of formula to two ounces of water. Your baby should eat every three to four hours at this age. We do not recommend solid food or water until your baby is six months old. Vitamin D. Breast milk is better than formula for many reasons, but it is a bit low in vitamin D. So for babies who are mostly breastfeeding, we recommend taking a vitamin to give enough vitamin D. Vitamin D is important for bone growth, and some studies show it may also help the immune system. The amount of vitamin D to give depends on which vitamin you buy, so follow the instructions on the package or ask us if you have questions. Sleep routine. Having a consistent nap or play routine can help your baby have a stronger sense of security. When it is time to sleep, lay your baby down while awake but drowsy. If your child is crying a little, it's okay to allow them to soothe themselves and fall asleep on their own. 
This will help avoid sleep problems. Fever at two months. If your baby gets a temperature of 100.4 degrees or higher, they need to be seen. At two months of age or older, it is okay to give your baby Tylenol, also called acetaminophen. But it is best to seek medical care first. And do not give your baby Motrin or Advil, also called ibuprofen, until they are at least six months old. We hope this helps. Remember, every child is an individual and develops at his or her own rate. There is a range of normal in developmental stages. If you have any questions, please ask your healthcare provider. And once again, congratulations on your new family member.